How to explain Dustin Poirier getting tapped by Brian Shaw? It's very simple. That was not a fight. They were training. Dustin Poirier is a professional fighter. He's trained in training. And he's training with Brian Shaw as you train with a beginner. He's using a lot of strength against Brian Shaw because Brian Shaw is very strong, but he's not using any of the actual attacks that he can. He's not using any kind of strikes at that moment. He's not using the explosive, the mean techniques. He's not trying to hurt him. And he's also actively trying to not hurt him. That's a big difference. Brian Shaw, as he has almost zero technique, is not actively trying to injure Dustin Poirier. But Dustin Poirier knows exactly how to injure somebody. And he's not doing that. He's doing other things. He's avoiding actively all the things that could injure Brian Shaw or could hurt him too badly or would just be too unfriendly. And that's how you train with beginners. And he's a good sport about it. He's no, he knows it's not a fight. I get tapped in training all the time. I get tapped in training by six-year-olds. And I don't care because I'm training. And I know in a real fight, I would, that would be very different. And I know after that training session, white belts and six-year-olds are like, yeah, I beat Peter. But I'm adamant on telling them actually that like training is not a fight. Don't think about fighting. Don't think about winning in training. Think about learning. Think about trying. Think about having fun. And <laughs> that's what that is. It was not a fight. That's why the things happened the way they happened. There are many examples of how it looks like when a smaller, highly trained individual fights a much larger, much stronger individual that is ne not nearly on the same level. Like when, uh, um, I think it was Genki Sudo against Immanuel Yarborough, and Immanuel Yarborough was over two meters tall and 800 pounds and a sumo wrestler. And there was that other, how was he called, Akebono, two meters, about 250 kilograms, and he was a Yokosuna, which is the highest rank in sumo wrestling. So he is incredibly strong and knows a thing or two about fighting. And still, that wasn't enough, not nearly enough, to stop an 80 kilogram, well-rounded and dirty ass mean fighter who was brutal and thought about fighting. Only if you're an actual fighter who knows what to do, you could beat such a fierce little man.